Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 3.6.1, Implementing VLANs and Trunking. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Network and Academy Curriculum. Now, previously we've completed many lab assignments in Module 3 on naming and cre or creating and naming VLANs, uh, signing ports uh, to switch port access mode and assigning the VLAN uh, tagging for that port in access mode to only carry one VLAN. We've talked about what it looks like to also assign a voice VLAN to that access mode so it can at least carry that in addition to the one VLAN um, that is carrying for access mode. We also talked about why there is a need to put something in trunk mode to carry uh, from switch to switch more than one VLAN for traffic disbursement, right? Um, so we're going to put that all together in this lab and they don't give you a whole lot of details on how to do stuff, but they do tell you what to go complete. So we're going to go to our configure the VLANs on all the different switches. So I'm going to start with SWA. And in the chart here, we have our VLAN name. So I'm going to do enable config T, VLAN 10, name admin, VLAN 20, name accounts, VLAN 30, name HR, VLAN 40, name voice, VLAN 99, name management, and then VLAN 100, name native. Remember this stuff is case sensitive, so make sure you spell it right for the grading of the lab. Okay, now let's go to SWB and we'll do the same thing. Enable config T, VLAN 10, name admin, VLAN 20, whoops, let me go back one. I'm going to do no VLAN 2. Good practice of the no command or deleting it out there. Uh, VLAN 20, name accounts. VLAN 30, name HR. VLAN 40, name voice. VLAN 99, name management. VLAN 100, name native. All right, and then we'll go over to SWC. And then VLAN 10, name admin, VLAN 20, name accounts. Should be a pro edit by now. VLAN 30, name HR, VLAN 40, name voice, VLAN 99, name management, and VLAN 100, name native. Now remember, you can do a do show VLAN brief to show that we have created, you might have to widen it out some that we have created all of those VLANs there. All right. Now let's inspect what modes and everything these need to be in. So for instance, on SWA, G01 and G02 need to be in switch port mode trunk and native VLAN is 100. All right. That's the one we put as the native VLAN. So we'll do uh, interface range G01 through 2. So we can do both of them at the same time. You don't have to, but it does save you some time. You could go into each one individually. So switch port mode trunk. Okay, switch port trunk native VLAN 100. All right, you might get a mismatch error in a minute because we have to change it on the other end as well. So then we're going to go to SWB, and you see that inconsistent port type, interface uh, G0. We don't need to do the range, so there's only one gigabit over here. That's G01. So interface G01, and then we're going to do switch port mode trunk switch port and you see the inconsistent VLAN there so switch port mode trunk on G01 then switch port trunk native VLAN 100 and you see it says port consistency restored SWC I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing interface G02 this time I believe it is it is G02 so it's important to know what those uh, physical interface names are because you can figure the wrong one it's not going to help you Switch port mode trunk, switch port. And sometimes it does that while you're typing, that's okay. You could continue typing it, it would not matter. Um, and then switch port, I'm trying to wait for it to see if it gives me an error here. 
I don't think it is. Switchport shrunk native VLAN 100. All right, so we got all that kit taken care of for the trunking, all right? Um, we also want to configure each one of these in access mode. For, so FA01 is access mode for VLAN 10, FA02 access mode for VLAN 20, FA03 access mode for VLAN 30, all right? So, and then we give a nice diagram here. In a real world situation, it may be a little harder to know where it ports and making sure you label them in a data closet, but we have a nice diagram here. So we're gonna do interface FA01, switch port mode access, and then switch port access VLAN 10. Interface FA02, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. Interface FA03, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. So that takes care of each one of these. And they're orange right now because they're renegotiating and everything. Now over here, I'm going to tackle the same way FA01, 2, and 3 here with 10, 20, and 30. And then we'll talk about the IP phone in a second. So interface FA01 and they kept it switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 interface FA02 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 and interface FA03 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 Okay, so that takes care of those three, FA03 to VLAN 30, FA02 to VLAN 20, and FA01 to VLAN 10. Now, this one's also in VLAN 10 for FA04, so I can go ahead and put that in switch port. So we'll do interface FA04, switch port mode access. <coughs> Sorry, I spelled it wrong. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. Now again, that is the one that's going up here. We see PC7 VLAN 10. But we do have this voice VLAN that we created and it's connected to an IP phone. So we need to be able to carry that as well and divide out that traffic. So to do that, if we look back, our voice VLAN was 40. Okay. So Let's do switch port. Sorry, not switch port. Interface FA04, going back into FA04. And we're going to do the MLS QOS trust COS command. What that'll do is allow it to carry in uh, the VLAN traffic and put in a special quality of service to check your phone calls. Because again, if you're talking to somebody through voice over IP, you don't want your packets to be dropped because whole sections of your conversation will be dropped. And then switch port, voice, VLAN, and then whatever number we assigned it, which was 40, and hit enter. Also, with our gigabit ports, I did forget one thing in going back and so interface G01 is on SWB. I forgot to type the switch port non-negotiate command. Um, we want to do that just so it doesn't try to negotiate anything else. And on SWC here. Uh, interface G02, switch port non-negotiate. So we want to make sure to do all of that, okay? And then lastly, we have, if you look at our addressing chart here, we've got our management uh, VLAN, the 99, not the native, but the management one. And what we want to do here is this is the only way we can set a IP address on a switch unless it's layer three. Right now we have a layer two. So the only way to do that, remember, is our interface VLAN. And then whatever it is, this was interface VLAN 99. And we want to go in and configure that IP address and subnet mask. So let's do that now. And this is a command we've actually been working on and building up to this point, even since our previous class. So uh, we need that addressing information there. So on SWA, we've got that right there. So we'll do, I'm gonna exit out, interface VLAN 99, 
and you see it changed state to up, so interface VLAN 99, and then our IP add command for IP address, and getting this from the chart, 192.168.99.252, and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. It automatically turned on, so we don't need to do a no shut command. And then we're going to go to SWB, do the same thing. So interface of VLAN 99, IP add 192.168.99.253. For this one, they should all have unique IP addresses. All right, we don't need to do no shut because it's already turned on. And then SWC. <clears throat> Same thing. And this is a way for us to not just remote into it, but also for them to communicate with each other um, for management purposes and for us to be able to remote into it as well, like we mentioned before. Uh, interface of VLAN 99. Interface VLAN 99. IP add 192.168.99.254. 255.255.255. Whoops. 0. So on SWA, one thing that um, I didn't see in the directions there and forgot about is making sure that you put G02. All right, we're going to have to take off the no uh, switch port, non-negotiate. All right, and then what we want to do is go into that port and put it in uh, desirable mode. It, right now, it'll work the way it was within just forcing it in trunk, but they wanted to be a little picky in the uh, mode we put it in. So we'll do switch port. And then you can kind of piece your way through the command if you want to. And then mode, dynamic, desirable. All right. They wanted it to be in the dynamic, desirable mode, which is going to negotiate. You see it there turning orange now, and it's going to negotiate back to trunk anyway. But if you put it in switch port mode trunk, it technically would work, but they wanted you to put it in desirable. But you do have to take off the non-negotiate command before you can um, change that if you had put that in there. So you have to put no non-negotiate. So that gets our lab to 100%, and that reviews everything about VLANs, and we are going to continue this with inner VLAN routing and routing on a stick in future modules.